right audio. There we go. Okay, good morning. Let me redo that again. A little bit of a different look today. Um, you can see it's more uh, direct as opposed to normally I'm shooting um, sort of this way uh, coming towards the sidewall here. Um, now I'm doing straight off my desk um, through a bit of a different rig. Um, so different audio, different um, video um, because I want to share my screen out a little bit um, this morning and show you something I've been working on. Nothing too crazy, um, but I thought it'd be a little bit of a different spin for Mornings with Mark. Um, we're at episode 12 already, which is crazy. Um, so thank you for um, sticking with me. You see, I got my nerd goggles on today, so I can actually see a little bit more of what I'm doing, um, because I'm not using my ring light. Normally I have this big um, ring light, and uh, ring lights are super cool for um, illuminating, because it's a 360 uh, sort of around your face, gets you from all angles. So it's really good at lighting the scene up. But it's also really amazing at creating reflections off your glasses, and unless you're going for this super cool music video look, um, it's not going to happen. So I've got a little bit of a different lighting system today, um, and uh, I can wear my glasses, so that's kind of nice. Um, anyway, uh, yesterday was Federal Budget Day. Um, so uh, for those of you outside of Canada, news time! Um, for those of us in Canada, it was really interesting. Um, there was a lot of political stuff. Obviously, it's a federal budget. You can't have federal budget without politics. Specific to cybersecurity, though, a couple key announcements um, that I'll cover super quick because uh, I did post um, online on Facebook as well as on LinkedIn about them uh, yesterday. Um, you can hit me up, uh, Mark NCA, on Twitter to talk about it uh, or LinkedIn, any community. Uh, but basically, a couple big things. There's a um, new national security, uh, cybersecurity strategy coming. Meh. Um, we saw that uh, 2010, the strategy was good. The implementation was a problem. So hopefully they fix that because there's some funding behind it. Um, more exciting, there's a center um, for cybersecurity expertise. That's going to be really interesting because it's consolidating a lot of the um, existing government um, department um, efforts around cybersecurity. Um, so really that's meant to address some of the challenges of the implementation in the um, strategy from 2010. Um, and then really exciting for everybody um, in Canada. Um, so for the average user, is the National Cybersecurity um, Crime Coordination Unit. Um, and that's uh, really important. So National Cyber Crime Coordination Unit. Yeah, there we go. Um, that's going to be run by the RCMP. And that's really going to be the one-stop shop, not just for law enforcement, um, internationally as well as domestically but also for Canadians so if you're um, uh, needing to report a cyber crime um, or are handling uh, the results of one you can talk uh, from a law enforcement angle you talk to the National um, Cyber Crime Coordination Unit and if you need help with response you're going to talk to the um, National Center for Cybersecurity um, so hopefully we can build out um, the long long, long time coming um, Canadian cert um, we'll see if that happens it wasn't specifically mentioned in the budget but Fingers crossed, um, hopefully that will come through. But today, um, busy day for me. As always, what day isn't busy? It's somewhat redundant that I even say that. Um, just kind of scatterbrained all over the place, but my main thrust today is I'm trying to get ready for South by Southwest um, on March 12th, the Monday. I keep saying March 12th. I hope it's March 12th. Um, on the Monday of March break, I am speaking about um, rogue robots, potential for cyber attack. So it's an operational technology um, chat that's a little different than some of the normal ones or, um, that I give publicly, though I've been actively researching this area quite a lot lately. Um, so that's going to be cool. We'll be working on that as much as I can because I really need to, uh, you know, it's two weeks out. I need to nail that talk down. I need to nail the dynamics. I need to make sure that I've got the rhythm. If you're curious about how I build a, a talk, I'll link to a video I did um, in the fall about building out a technical talk. This one's a little bit different because it's not quite as technical, um, but same process, same principles, same um, prospects, um, sort of same structure. Um, you, you know, uh, very interesting, I think. Um, uh, I know the topic's interesting. I think building a talk is interesting as well. But I wanted to show you a little bit about what I've been working on um, here, um, sort of as a sideline, um, on the advice of some people who are very much smarter than I, um, I don't want to show you Spotify. Uh, what I want to show you um, is what I've been building website-wise. So I have had a domain, uh, markn.ca, uh, mark uh, forever. Let me just make sure this looks good. There we go. Okay, so we move it over so you can see less of me and more of them. Perfect. So... This is what my current site is. You can tell, given that the headline right now is AWS reInvent 2017, I'm a little behind. 
that's the biggest struggle that's always been there, um, is trying to make sure that I keep a site up to date, um, try to make sure that it's reasonable, that it's a good source for information. Because at this point, I'm posting on um, LinkedIn regularly. Uh, every day I post something on LinkedIn. Every day I'm posting something on Facebook, in addition to doing mornings with Mark. Um, once every week or so, I'm publishing a dedicated video about a particular topic um, across multiple channels. So that'll go native on Twitter, go native on Facebook, native on LinkedIn, and on YouTube. Um, I'm writing semi-regularly on Medium, and of course, I'm really active on uh, Twitter. Uh, and then every once in a while, be publishing code out on github so basically everywhere uh, and i think that totally makes sense as a social strategy and again worked up by people much smarter than i and thank you very much um, i would call you out by name but i'm not sure if uh, i haven't asked you for permission so i'll say this the team at trend micro is amazing top notch um, they've been really helpful um, helping me build out um, my digital profile um, and getting the word out to more folks. So helping people understand um, digital security and privacy um, on a bigger scale. And that's what I'm all about, trying to help teach people uh, and understand the digital world we're living in. So um, one of the things that, that we came up in discussing, uh, discussing strategy was really, you know, you can't bring people um, off of the network they're on. You want to have those discussions in place, which is why I'm publishing and active on all these different networks. But I do need a place just for me. Um, to share out what I'm doing and sort of a, a, um, an index or a table of contents for what's going on with me online because otherwise you'd never be able to keep up and you'd miss a whole bunch of the content and hopefully you're interested in the content. So that place should be markn.ca. The unfortunate reality is that I haven't been very good at keeping up. So you can see the last time I updated was really the last time I ran a full run on it was 2016. Um, with some minor updates for reInvent 2017. So I apologize for that. I am also not at all shocked or surprised by that. What I have been working on is a refresh of the site. Um, so you can see this one's got the, the old logo, um, you know, but I've kept uh, a lot of the same vibe. This is what the new site is looking like. I'm slowly importing some content. This should be going live either today or tomorrow. Um, you can see there's a preview of a draft already. I haven't published this yet, but obviously it will be on the third. Um, bit of a new logo, a um, little cleaner. It's the one you're seeing here up in the corners. Um, Imported some of the most, um, or the V top hit on the previous site, which was a Python extension work I did in Lambda. Um, but the idea is, you know, for mornings with Mark, they're going to end up on these pages um, that when you scroll down, you know, see I'm embedding each of the videos and then uh, writing a little bit about it and adding any links. Uh, hopefully the results of any work that happens uh, based on these, uh, but it's a good summation. So you can see here I'd uh, spoken about the Winter Games hack and ended up uh, speaking to Peter Armstrong uh, on TV uh, on the money about it. Um, and then uh, the idea is to kind of track some of where I'm speaking as well. So um, if you want me to speak at your event, you can get in touch or you can learn more about what I normally speak about. But the next big one is South by Southwest. So nailed it, Monday the 12th. Uh, in Austin, Texas, I'm talking about uh, Rogue Robots and the potential for cyber attack. A little bit about that talk, um, click through to the details for the site, and then some references of previous talks I gave. So here's uh, one of the um, talks I gave at reInvent this year, um, or last year in 2017. Here it was me keynoting the serverless uh, conference in New York, um, and then a list of other talks I gave in 2017. You notice I didn't speak a lot in 2017, at least on stage. I was focusing a lot more on digital and a lot more on uh, media engagements. Um, I'm looking to, to probably give maybe around the same amount of talks this year, maybe a little bit more. Um, we'll see. Uh, the previous years, like 2016, 2015, I probably gave 30, 40 talks a year. Um, last year, you know, I was under 10, um, but I think there were a lot more specific, at least for public events. I gave a lot of private event talks as well, which I don't list here. So a um, bit of a refresh on the site. I think, um, you know, the clean design uh, lets me keep the size small and deliver it fast because, of course, it's built in a serverless way. Um, and at some point, I will write that up. Same with uh, how I do all these videos and the rig I'm shooting on right now uh, and my big rig. Um, so a little bit more of a central place for me. Still working on the about page because as you can see, I'm Mark and I hate writing about pages. I can't stand it, same with the bio, um, but I'm hacking my way through it because it's important and I think this is gonna be sort of the one-stop shop to let you know what I'm about, uh, what I'm about, what I'm shooting for, and where I'm publishing, where I'm uh, where I'm active. Um, so there's still one top level item here, sort of a timeline view of, uh, of what I've been doing where. So I've been working on that in the background. Um, today, like I said, 
real focus is uh, South by Southwest. Um, really looking forward to um, diving into that talk and, and polishing that off to make sure that that is um, really exciting and really top notch because South by is a big conference. I'd like to make a very good impression, uh, but also I think it's a fascinating topic. Um, looking at how robots have um, managed uh, to um, do a lot more within our society than we actually realize, and as well as sort of the um, uh, perceptions we have around what robots are versus the reality of what they are. I think in this case, Hollywood skewed things a little bit uh, too much one way, um, and we need to kind of wheel it back. So that's me today. Um, hope you're having a great day. Hope you're set up for a great day. As always, look in the chat, hit me up, uh, Mark NCA. Um, looking forward to discussing anything that's on your mind. Um, how are you managing your, your website? Um, I know most of us who have some sort of public presence are horrible at it. Unless we can get a team member to handle it for us, we tend to be really bad. Have you conquered that? I'm hoping with this new initiative I can. Will it work? I don't know. Best effort, right? Hit me up online. Let me know. Um, otherwise, have a great day. 